Kirk. Oh, yeah, me too. How is Letty? Oh, great, fine. Married, she has two children. No. She's happy as a lark, living in Chicago. Oh, that's wonderful. <laughs> say hello when you write to her. That I will, yeah, sure. Will. Uh, say, how come I've never seen you in here before? Oh, we came to hear Mr. Sloan. Uh, we'll be coming in quite often, as a matter of fact. Well, I hope you do, and I mean it. Uh, you ready, Mr. Sloan? Anytime, Mr. Bartell. Anytime at all. Thank you. Well, enjoy yourselves, folks. Glad to have you aboard. Nice to see you. <laughs> you know, I like that Bartell. Nice guy. <laughs> Barney is used to it. There's a somebody I'm longing to see. I hope that she turns out to be someone who watch over me. I'm a little lamb who's lost in the woods. I know I Why not, baby? Why not? Could only Look, give me just one good reason why. Buy me a drink. To her heart, I'll carry the key. <laughs> Won't you tell her, please, to put on some speed? Follow my lead. Oh, how I need someone. not fair. You've improved an awful lot in one week, Mr. Sloan. How's that, babe? You got me grinning like an idiot. Good. You noticed the resemblance. Say, you weren't by chance sneaking around my room yesterday, were you, while I was out? Was I? Try not to leave fingerprints. It's a fine thing. The minute a fellow's back is turned, you hang up curtains. The next time I'm putting flower pots on your windowsill. No flowers. Why not? Well, they use up the oxygen. Listen, you, you give me trouble and I'll be up there with a lace pillowcase. Lace? Lace. You may object to living like a human being, Mr. Sloan, but you're going to sleep like one. My landlady has instructions to shoot anybody And when out. I'm finished with the room, I'm starting on you. Look at yourself. What's the matter with me? What do you cut your hair with, a lawnmower? It's a penknife. <laughs> and look at your tie. It's always at half-mast. Say, would you help me a minute, please? Mm -hmm. Just hold that open. You know, I think there's something that you should know about the state of Connecticut. What's that? A crease in the pants is strictly constitutional. It is. Look, it's Pop's birthday, Barney. I think a pair of pressed pants would be just the right note for tonight's party. I'll think about it. Okay. By the way, while I'm downtown, um, maybe you could do a little work for yourself, huh? Like what? Hmm? 
finishing your song? Why don't you forget about that song? Think what a kick in the pants it'd be to them, your destinies, if you came up with a big hit, huh? What good's a hit song? Here we go again. Hey, get your picture in life and maybe get a new suit and a lot of hullabaloo and then one day I'm walking down the street and around the corner comes a bolt of lightning. Pow! D-E-D. -D, dead. Do you know that you're impossible? Six, two, and even. That's the way I leave the world. Lightning. That... All I know is that there's a straight jacket waiting for you with your number on it. Lick the spoon. <laughs> I want you to think that that's spur of the moment stuff. I planned it for a week. It's pretty mild for a week's thought, isn't it? Well, it's just a friendly kiss. We're going to be good friends, aren't we, Barney? Yes, sure. I'll work at it. In fact, we're going to be such good friends that we won't even have to swap presents at Christmas. It's a practical idea. Well, I... I know, you've got to rush downtown. Yeah. See you later. Don't forget the birthday pants. It's Constitution. You know, you're a parasite. You know what a parasite is? What? Someone who doesn't do their share of pushing revolving doors. I pushed. Take one of these, will you? For appearance sake. <laughs> Why should I have a man around him? I can't use him. Glad you bumped into me, huh? <laughs> you're kidding. I planned it that way. Okay, where's the car? Across the street in the lot. Lori. Hmm? I love you. Lori! You came out for one present, you said. For your father. Alex, come see these pedal pushers. They're adorable. Yeah. Lori! Only $8.95, too. That's very cheap. Pedal pushers for your father? Hmm? I'm telling you, you won't look good in them. <laughs> Silly. Didn't hear me before, did you? you say something? Yeah. I said I loved you, Laurie. Oh. Want to chase it? Not today. <laughs> I've been trying to tell you something for the last five minutes, but you won't listen to me. What? I love you, Laurie. Yeah. Since when? Since the first moment I saw you. It's tough for a guy to be original when he's in love. Well? Got your ticket? Oh, yeah. I'll get your car. That was in the nature of a proposal. And I expect something in the nature of an answer. You know how I feel. How? I adore you. That's a good start. We'll be married next week, huh? <laughs> Alex, we can't get married next why week. Why not? Well, why can't we keep things as they are? We have so much fun and laughs and... Well, we can be married and still have laughs. There have been cases. Have there? Look, Laurie, get this through your head. I love you. And I need you. Do you? Of course I do, you idiot. Even if I didn't need you, you need me. Who's going to carry your bundles? <laughs> you know, I hadn't thought of that. But there's something else that you really should know about me, Alex. Yeah? Mm. I always laugh at the wrong time. <laughs> I know you do. I've heard you. <laughs> I'll probably laugh all through the ceremony. What do you think I'll be doing? <laughs> Crazy. But it might be fun. You mean that? <laughs> Good. Stay there.
Would you hold these a minute, please? Thank you. Now. Albertuccio, give the package back to the man. Come on, we gotta go home. It's late. I cannot give him back the package. Don't you see the gentleman is busy? What do you mean he's busy? He's kissing her. Well, that's busy, no? <laughs> and he's doing a good job, too. You're home safe and sound, didn't they? <laughs> All the fenders are still on. Pretty good, isn't it? Very good. Say, could you help an old friend? Eh? Sure. Thank you. You know, I never really wanted to marry anyone. Huh? No, not for a while, anyway. Well, I'm not just anyone. I'm a definite, engaging personality. <laughs> Come on, we'll pull the family. Alex, don't take the edge off the birthday party. Huh? Let Pop have his moment. Then we'll spring it. Okay. Uh, come on, we have lots to do before Pop comes home. Yeah, we got lots to do. Hey, Pop's doing all right. A lot of loot here. I'll say, I could use one of these myself. So good eyes, and real honey. Break it up, boys. Here they come. For he's a jolly good fellow. For he's a jolly good fellow. For he's a jolly good fellow. Which nobody can deny. Which nobody can deny. Look at that. Oh, look at this. What, 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 what do I say? Say the same thing I did when I saw it. What is it? <laughs> it's a sound system, Jesse. Don't you know? Music that... all over the house coming out of the wall. High fidelity. <laughs> we all chipped in, Pop. Oh, that tuner, the amplifier, and oh, look at that speaker. <laughs> Three ways. Well, highs go to 20,000 cycles. Oh. You'll be able to hear those triangles now. Sure, you're gonna be a real hip cat. Hip. Uh, the word is hip, Bob. Only cubes say hip. <laughs> uh, hey, wait a minute, wait a minute. Who's going to assemble this? Ernie! Well, of course, of course Ernie. 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 Well, let's well, come on, Ernie. Well, I guess I can have it. That's all high fidelity needs. Good flower. <laughs> <laughs> and for when Ernie gets it glued together. The immolation scene for the soprano you'll love. Wait till you hear when the flames start licking her torso. <laughs> <laughs> That's not all, Dad. Here's some more. And made, oh, Amy, you're a love. <laughs> Genuine cashmire. <laughs> <laughs> also handmade. Smoking jacket. Made from the sunroom curtain. Oh, <laughs> Jesse. <laughs> <laughs> While I was in New York, I just happened to pass by Tiffany's. Tiffany's? <laughs> oh, Bob, now that's too extravagant. Oh, beauty. Oh. oh, it's Swiss, Pop. Instead of chimes, it's, it's yodels. <laughs> <laughs> There's something else. What's oh, this? Barney. Huh? You shouldn't have. It's a very kind thought. But I... Try it on for size, Pop. Yeah, look real sharp, huh? <laughs> 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 Happy birthday, Dad. Glory, I, I got it for you. You don't mind, do you? No, oh, thank you. Well, I guess that puts me in the same class with Robert J. Neary. I know his kind like a book. He's the I sold newspapers when I was a kid, but look at me now type. Well, I have your type catalog, too, you know. Bet. At any party, you're the kind of guy that always says, I never had a birthday party or ever got a present. Right? I pay. So, rather than let you be corny, from me to you. With initials, too. Hey, these are good links. Of course. I do my shoplifting at the finest store. All right, all right, oh, here's the next. Here comes the man. Look, watch yourself. Oh, 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 man. 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 One candle. Now, now that's touching. You know, that's very... We're bribing you to stay young, Pop. <laughs> oh, I'll accept the bribe, but there's, there's no reason for it. Look at that cake. Well, come on, let's get down to business. You bake that, Jesse? No, Fran did. In that case, I can't live without her. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Will you elope tonight, huh? It's a date. Sure? Sure. Come on, get those plates over here. Here we are. Here we are. Right, come on, go to work. Hooray! Oh, all right, all right. 
You know, every year on my birthday, I get sentimental and I make a long speech. But this year, I'm going to be brief, because this year, I have more to be happy about than I ever had before. Oh, it's a beautiful speech. Perfectly beautiful speech. Cut the cake. <laughs> <laughs> nice big Light piece for me now. Oh, oh, you get the first one. Come on, I'll have myself a big piece. Oh, you have a how about telling him now, huh? You think so? Sure, why not? There's a lull, and uh, I forgot to uh, show you this. Alex is beautiful. Quiet, everyone, quiet. Hold it down to a dull roar. We have a commercial. Alex and I are going to be married. Married? Uh -huh. How wonderful, Laurie. How about that? Oh, that's great. Oh, that's a Congratulations. Thank you, Randy. Thank you, Bobby. Well, surprise you. Hey, I married the wrong girl. Not a surprise. I'm set the date, but it's going to happen. As soon as my laundry gets back. Oh, Pop, look. It's been quite a day, hasn't it, Laurie? Oh, first Pop, then you. I know. Hey, how about some coffee with this cake? I'm not too happy to have forgotten about that. It should be perking by now. I'll get it. Let me help you, Amy. Say, Amy, this marriage business isn't contagious, is it? Uh, let her get the coffee. Yeah, that's, that's a good idea. Let's look at it under the light. Oh, it's... You know, I'm not sure whether I mm -hmm. should allow my daughter to marry an upstart yes, composer is. who I can't even that. do his own arranging. You know, Laurie? <laughs> I think I'll beat you to the altar. I should have kept my eyes. Yes, you should. Brian! Bob? Yeah? Do you still want me to be a June bride? Sure. What'd you say? Hey, Fran, you mean it? Pull this. <laughs> Bring on what the orange oh, oh, me. What's gotten into my family? I don't know what to say. <laughs> That's why I say anything. I propose a toast. A good idea. Come on, a good idea. Let's get to all of us. Punch for everybody. Come on, in here. <laughs> you know, if you put your head on my shoulder, those carriages in there wouldn't hear you crying so loud. I can't help it, Aunt Jessie. Of course you can. Someone else will come along. Oh, no, no, you're wrong. Yes, they will. About six months, that's the usual time. Now, don't contradict me. I know about these things, being a spinster. Oh. Aunt Jessie? Aunt Jessie, I have wonderful news, Bob and Freddy. Oh. Amy? What's the matter, Amy? Nothing, nothing. Why are you crying? Amy just can't get used to losing the baby of the family any more than I can. Oh, honey, you mustn't feel like this. I'm not going away. Nothing's going to change for us, really. I know. It's just... Amy, we're all going to get married sooner or later. We are. We'll have a house full of kids running all over the place. Little violin players. Little piano players. Amy, you like Alex, don't you? Of course she does. We all do. What is this girl's a taffy pull? Come help me with a coffee. Aunt Jessie's right. I'm just being so silly. Amy, are you sure it isn't Alex? Well, what I mean is, you never did seem to take to him like the rest of us. But honest, Amy, he's so sweet and he's so much fun. I, I know you'll learn to love him. Believe me. Laurie? Stop that gab, 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 gabbing. We've got to get some coffee to those people or no one's going to love anyone. Come on, darling. Amy, you get those cups over there, will you? Glory, you pour. No, but let me do it. At least we have one steady hand in this family. Oh, dear. Oh. Let them come in and dunk it. <laughs> <laughs> It was just 
one of those things Just one of those crazy flings One of those bells That now and then ring Just one of those things It was just One of those nights Just one of those fabulous flights A trip to the moon on gossamer wings Yes, it was one of those things If we thought a bit about the end of it When we started painting that town We'd have been aware that our love affair was too hot not to cool down. So goodbye, goodbye, bye-bye, goodbye, baby, and amen. Here's hoping we meet now and then. It was great fun. But it was just one of those things. What are you doing here? I could ask you the same question. Some more besides. Why haven't you been around lately? Is our piano out of tune or something? No, the pitch is fine. I guess I just don't have a beat for the wedding march. Oh. Is that why you didn't show up at Franny's wedding? Well, I figured Alex can handle that. Today, he'll probably play his own march and say I do at the same time. I, uh, just waiting around. Guy owes me some bucks. I don't feel like walking to New York. Barney, why are you going to New York? Just because I'm getting... Well, it's still no reason why I have to stop trying to make a human being out of you. I'm the girl who brought chintz curtains into your life, remember? And I'm not going to stop... Why do you have to look so beautiful? For me. You're getting married in an hour. Another dream shot. If that wasn't enough, you gotta come in here looking like a convention of angels. Why does the sunlight have to hit you just right? If your nose was shiny or your eyes were dull, anything to make it easier. But look at you. Well, a girl can't get married without a permanent, can she? It wouldn't be legal. Nice going, honey. Congratulations. They take a guy out of the cold, introduce him to a family, real people, Aunt Jesse, the old man. And they throw a girl named Lori in his path. After she gets a hammerlock on his heart, they kick him out in the street. New lease on the gutter. Barney, listen to me. No. You listen to me. You've been telling me all along that it's my fault. That I didn't put up a battle. Well, now I'm full of fight. I love you, Lori. I love you, understand? Nobody gets you. Barney, please. Yes. Your theory's all cockeyed, baby. You got the judges and the referee. And I accept the verdict. 
What's more, I'll attend the wedding. My smile will be as brave as Amy's. Why, Amy? Don't tell me you don't know that she's got it real bad for Alex. What are you talking about? Just what I said. You know, sometimes when you're on the outside looking in, you can see some things that other people can't. What do you mean? Tonight she made the wedding announcement. Poor Amy. I watched her face. White as a sheet. She ran out of the room. And That's I'm, not why she ran out of And she came back into the room and her eyes were red from crying. And I knew why. Because I understand all the Amy's of the world. But that wasn't it at all. I know why she was crying. It was because I was getting married, don't you see? Amy and I have always been very close and... Sure, sure. Barney, I don't believe you. You're trying to frighten me. Look, go home. Get married. People are waiting. You're lying. Sure. That's a good a word as any. Now, why don't you go? I have an important business appointment. Go home. Good, but I can't. There must be some reason, but my fingers are like jelly. Feel them. Are they cold? Mm. So are yours. <laughs> you know, some guys can tie knots, some guys can't. <laughs> Me, I can't tie anything. I know. Hey, come on. No, just hold still. Bum, 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 bum. Hey, that's a steal from something. If it is, it's a good one. <laughs> hold it, hold it, hold it. Leave me some air to say I do. Oh, I'm sorry. Bum, 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 beam, bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, 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 bum. There. I think I made it. Thanks. How about me? Any price tag showing? Mm -hmm. Striped trousers. Symbolic, huh? <laughs> How do I look? You look very nice. Thanks. <laughs> 